What is up guys, Johnny here, I'm back with another Shadowgun Legends guide. In today's video we answer the question of the week. What should I do with my skill points? What are the best builds in the game right now? We just had an update and we now have 20 skill points, so what to do with the extra two? To answer that question we have to look in the past. What were the best builds before the update? And what is the update going to change in these builds? You have to understand, just because we have two more skill points, it does not change the whole meta. The best skills are still the best skills. The game did not change. The skills were not shuffled on the skill tree. The skills were not rebalanced. So everything that was done in the past eight months, different builds have been tested already. And the top builds in the game remain the top builds after the addition of two more skill points. Yes, we have access to three new skills, Hunter Mine, Invisibility Tech, and Blink. But I feel these skills are not viable right now to change the meta. Hunter Mines is very interesting, but if you use Hunter Mines, you lose all your mobility skills because you have zero points in agility with that build. So it's not efficient for speed farming, and I still feel Hunter Mines, even though it looks cool and it does good damage versus a single target, I feel AM Bomb is still better versus multiple targets. Now Invisibility Tech is really interesting, it could be fun in PvP. The build is viable, it has lots of survivability and has decent movement skills, but you're losing reload while sprinting, so not so efficient for speed farming. The last one is Blink, is probably the best of the three. It seems to be very good in 1v1, I've seen a video from Massacrator, it is very scary, it's very powerful. However, in 4v4 and PvP, I mean, you're gonna blink, maybe you'll get the kill, but you have zero survivability. So if you're lucky and you get the kill, 100% you're gonna get killed right after. So it's a one for one trade and it's not 100% guaranteed you get the kill. So let's flash back in the past and look at the best builds in the game just before the update. Right before the update, before the addition of the extra two skill points, these were the most popular builds in the game. You notice there's a lot of points allowed in agility for all the popular builds because agility equals movement speed, reload speed, sprint speed, it's all the mobility skills. Now the first two builds, 963 and 1233, they were the old school builds and they're still very good. 819 is more new school maybe, it was made popular not so long before the update with Massacrator uh, revealing his skill tree on one of my videos. So the first one, 963, is more of a PvP build. It's all about ammo, accuracy, and mobility. You have access to Stunner, you have access to Sparta Kick. Some of these skills are only used in PvP right now. Now the second one is all about damage. The 1233 build is the arena damage build. Because with 12 points in agility, you get the 20% extra damage in the back. So it's perfect for arena and it's still very decent for PvP. Now the last one is all survivability. With 9 points in survival, you get extra melee resistance, you get extra explosion resistance, and you get projectile resistance on top. With 8 points in agility, you still have access to all the mobility skills, including reload while sprinting. 819 was very good if you had problems surviving in the gold arena. So if you're looking to experiment and try some new builds, you see the popular builds have lots of points in agility, because movement speed, but also all the builds have at least 3 points in survival because you get extra health and the auto heal stat. These builds also give you access to the best active skills in the game. Supercharger, AM Bomb for PvE, Grenades and Deflector Skin for PvP. But the addition of 2 extra skill points should not change the whole game for now. Maybe in the near future we'll start seeing some different builds. So we will take these three builds one by one and see what you could do with these two extra points. Now let's see some variants of the 963 build. Just saying the 963 is my least favorite of all three because you don't have the damage of the 1233 for the arena and you don't have the survivability of the 819 for the end game dungeon. So it's basically a much better PvP build but it's lacking some of the very good skills for PvE. The 974 build will give you access to Rocket Man and Survival Kit. If it's your thing, you can use it now. The 983 variant though I think is more interesting because the 8 points in combat will now give you access to Rocket Man but also Elite Damage Boost. You get an extra 5% damage to Elites with that so it's excellent for PvE. 
Now let's look at the 12-3-3 variants. If you use 12-4-4, the fourth point in combat will give you access to stunner. But stunner is not so popular anymore. It's very easy to counter and it's pretty useless in PvE. The fourth point in survival, of course, will give you the survival kit. The more interesting variant, I think, is the last one, 12-3-5. Just because I think the stunner is not so useful right now, I think that one extra HP will at least be useful, maybe. Finally, let's look at the 819 variants, the very interesting one in the middle, 839. The build is already very good for PvP with all the survivability. But now you have access to marksman skill and ammo up, so you have more ammo and more accuracy. You still don't have the extra magazine cap, but it's still a very good build. If you don't want to respec all the time, it's good for PvP and it's good for PvE. The last one is my favorite build, it's the one I've been using since the first day of the update. It's a hybrid between the Massacrator build and the old loot build. 8111 gives you access to Luck of the Devil for PvP and PvE, you have lots of survivability and you have all the movement abilities. Now to conclude this video, I will give you guys my top 3 builds, my favorite ones of all the builds that we've seen in this video. So two of my favorite three are 819 variations. The 839 and 8111 are my favorite right now. I said 819 was uh, more new school because it's more adapted to today's PVP meta. There's a lot of explosion. Uh, everyone used grenades. A lot of people use rocket launchers. So 819, the Massacrators build, it has explosion resistance and projectile resistance. It's very good to survive. But also it's very good for the new end game uh, in PvE. Gold Arena and Hive Mine is very hard right now. The melee resistance from the 819 builds is very important. If you don't have very good gear, you will die very fast. And if you're always dead, you're not useful to the team because you're not dealing damage when you're dead and your teammates have to stop dealing damage to go revive you. So two of these variations on the right, my favorite builds right now, so it's all depending on luck of the devil. You want to use it or you don't want to use it. It's personal. So these two builds are very good. And the last one, the 1235 build. I've always been a big fan of the 1233 before the update. The extra damage in the back is huge in arena. It will improve your clear time so much. But like I said, it's good if you have good gear and it's good if you're good because if you're always dead, the extra damage is totally useless. But if you're going to farm a lot of silver arena and you don't die much, 1235 is perfect. Now that will be it for today's video. You can respect for almost free every Monday. If you respect too much, it's gonna cost gold. But every Monday it goes back to costing 10,000 credits. So feel free to experiment. Feel free to try these different builds that I've shown in today's video. And again, the meta is likely to change at some point. People will try new stuff. People will find new combinations maybe that are better than today's uh, most popular builds. But I feel this very stable right now. And these builds are very good at the moment. Now, if you want more information about the builds, I will link in the description my videos I made about the arena damage build, uh, the legendary farming build, and the old PvP builds. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what build you're using. And if you're using something that was not talked about today, please let me know. I want to know. Now, once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If it helped, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.